Welcome folks. What I have for you today and further down the line with uh, following videos is uh, everything that I know about uh, the HEI or high energy ignition distributor that General Motors made starting around oh, 1975 give or take a year and uh, up until the point where they started adding in um, computer controls to these things and then on to fuel injection they went and more or less got rid of the distributor and it kind of became a dinosaur from that point onwards. So um, what this one is going to, um, or should I say, what I'm going to be showing you is using, using this particular HEI distributor. It's out of a 1979 Chevy van and it had, for some reason, it had um, uh, heavy duty emissions on it. It means a lot less stuff in the way of pollution control and stuff on it. So it's fairly basic. <clears throat> Excuse me, like I was saying before, it doesn't have any pollution control stuff or any computer stuff on it. It's purely mechanical and uh, with some electronics in it as well. And I'll be breaking that down piece by piece during each, each of the following videos and try to kind of keep it in a pinpoint fashion, if you will, to try to clarify what's going on with these things. To try to uh, maybe avoid some confusion and make it easier to learn about. Um, this one it looks like it could even be the original cap. I know I did some videos with the um, ignition coil out of here, uh, the pickup coil or pull piece, call it what you will, and the ignition module has also been changed in here, but it kind of looks like the cap never was because it was in such good condition. I'm pretty sure this particular distributor must, must have over 100,000 miles on it. And there's a, I don't know what this is all about, some blue paint on there. It's something I never put on there. Okay, it's, uh, it's, it looks like the engine color, uh, the Chevy blue that they went to later after they finished using the orange stuff. Probably in the mid to late uh, 70s for the Chevy engines. Um, so that's probably, well, maybe I'm wrong there. Maybe it's just the cover. Yeah, actually, now that I look at it, it's probably just the cover. The cap might, it must have been changed in that time for sure. But like I was saying, it's uh, this is going to be my introductory video, video part one. Basically an overview and I'm just explaining what I'll be doing in the future when I'm adding the videos um, to this particular uh, series of videos I'll be doing uh, when uh, time permits. So there's what it looks like from the top. Okay, you got a vacuum advance canister here and a big distributor cap to contain all that high voltage that these things are capable of putting out. And uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll take it out of my little fixture here. I've got a, <clears throat> excuse me, a drill press vise with a piece of heavy metal tubing in there that I've um, I put the drive gear extension on, if you will, and I'll just move this out of the way. And just a, just a brief showing of what's going on here. I might have to do it a little bit backwards to where it is. I'll also be showing you what to be look out, what to be looking out for when you take one of these out, and how to set up the uh, the engine for top dead center on the compression stroke to make sure everything all lines up when you put the distributor back in. So basically, a vacuum advance here, the coils in the cap, and I'll be. Um, taking that out with the cover and everything. And there's uh, the hookup wire from, from the components that are connected in the base of the distributor up on into the cap that controls the, the coil firing and what have you. And you can see here it's even got the Chevy Blue on distributor. There's a little bit of overspray on the back side of the vacuum canister here, vacuum unit, vacuum can if you will. Even blue paint here on the bottom of the aluminum part of the housing for the actual distributor body. And with that many miles on it, you can actually see just how much coating. This is kind of a coating. It's not just a smear. It's it's you know not quite a 30 second thick, I guess, but it's been in there for a while. And uh, there's the drive gear. There's this uh, exact same gear that's on the camshaft that drives this at a one to one ratio. Okay, and I'll be taking this thing apart, like I was saying in, in future videos, and, and breaking it right down and showing you everything I know about these things and what to be watching out for for ignition timing and the advanced uh, mechanisms and so forth. So there you have it for the part one in today's video for the high energy ignition distributor that General Motors made. And we're going to call it HEI for short just like everybody else out there and uh, on the internet and everywhere else that uses these things. Just remember the, word, or the letters rather HEI. So there you have it folks. The introductory video for the series uh, that this particular video is just starting with part one. There you have it. Till next time, have yourself a nice day and uh, bye for now.